<laughs> Hi. So this is so cool. So um, I wanted to jump on here today. Let me look because it's, it's like I'm looking up here, but I'm supposed to be looking down here. So maybe I should move it. Let me move it because it looks weird. So that looks better. Okay. So uh, I am, um, I haven't made a video in a while. So I am excited to be making a video. I feel like it's just been forever. Um, you know, when life be life and and not even just, I mean, yeah, life is life and just as always, it's not that big of a deal. It is what it is, but um, I'm just grateful, you know, and I think sometimes I forget to um, acknowledge that, you know, acknowledge being grateful for everything that I have, everything that I've been blessed with, everything that God has to be blessed with. Um, I think for some people, it's just, you know, we forget to thank him for that. You know, even through the hard times, that's when we should be thanking him and appreciating him the most, not just, you know, it, it, you know, I shouldn't even say that because it should be all the time. Talk about the earring on. It should be all the time. We should be in constant prayer mode. We should consistently be thanking him and every day. I mean, every day, not even just in the hard times, I mean, but I mean, like every day we should constantly be in prayer mode and and uh, thanking uh, God for all that he has done, because it could be worse. It it could always be worse. So the thing is, is if, if we're consistently focusing on the negative aspect of our life and how things are just, you know, oh my gosh, not in a good place. And what am I going to do next? And what is the next steps? And how am I going to get out of this? And it's like, if you're in a situation that you don't like, and you're not thinking about how to get out of that next situation, how to get out of that current situation, you will be stuck in that same situation. So you have to kind of, you know, shift your mindset and start living your life as you are already gotten out of that situation. And I think that's kind of where I'm at right now. You know, um, this my situation, I just want to be in a different situation. Like I am, I'm already living in the next situation. I, I, I'm living in this current situation, but my mindset has already shifted to the next situation in order to get myself out of this situation, right? And not to say that I'm like in a bad situation, I'm just on to the next thing because that's just how I go. I don't like to be um, in one place for too long. I get, I, I don't, if I don't, if I'm not up and I'm not moving around and I'm not, you know, on my way to the next situation in order to elevate myself and get myself to the next steps and get my next self to that, the next level and the next elevation. I'm not, if I'm not moving forward, then I'm continuously to stay still and there's no elevation for me. That's just how I feel. You know, I don't I don't know how other people live their lives. You know, some people like being in the same house for the, you know, the next 10 years and working the same job for the next, you know, five or 10 years. But for me, I am solely working on myself, you know, working to elevate myself, working to get myself over to that next stage in life and pushing myself as far as I can be able to push it for you know what I like to say that I am a uh, I am a risk taker. I am a risk taker. I take chances on life because at the end of the day, all you do, you only get one life. You really only get one life to live and you have to live it. You have to live it till it to its full potential. You can't be scared to go out here and fail and fall on your face. And it's like, oh, my gosh, what if you fail? And what if you don't? What if you what, what if you don't? 
But, if, but you'll never know if you don't get up and take that that is that final leap, that first step. I think people have a hard time with taking that first step and taking that first leap. And it's like, oh my gosh. But if you're so focused on failing, then you will fail because that's what you're putting all your time into. That's what you're putting all your energy into. You're focusing on failing. So you will you are bound to fail. So you that's when you have to shift your mindset. You have to be in constant prayer mode. You have to be prepared for the next step and for the next journey. Whatever that may be, it can be whatever you want it to be. That's the thing. That's the power of the mind and the power of manifestation and the power of prayer. You can go out here and live your life and do it ever you want, but you have to take that first step. If you don't take that first step, you'll never be able to go out here and do what, it, what, what you want. You know, if you're, if you're living righteously, you're not harming anybody, you're taking care of your children, you're providing for yourself, you're doing your best due diligence to live this life and live it gracefully. And, and, you know, helping people, helping yourself, the universe will line everything else up for you. Everything will be lined up according to, everything will work out just as you want it to work out. I promise you it will. But you have to be willing to take that first step. You can't, you can't be afraid to take that first step and, and, and sit here and consistently think, what if, what if, and then what if it does? But you will never know if you don't progress, if you don't move forward, if you don't shift your mindset, if you don't take yourself out of that current situation and put yourself in the next situation then it's not going to happen. I mean, I'm a firm believer that we have the power to create our own life and create our own destiny. But it begins with you. It begins with the concept in your mind. It really do. You have to you have to shift your mindset. You have to shift your way of thinking. You have to completely shift your life. And for me, I'm a risk taker like I am. I just I just go with the flow because you just never know. Like if I'm if you're consistently staying in one place, consistently working the same job after five years, 10 years, you're helping that company build them. But at the same time, how are you building yourself? You know, I mean, if you're working there with a goal in mind, you know, you need that job to help you to get this off the ground. That's perfect. But set that goal and stick with it. Right. Don't. OK, I'm going to work this job for a year and I'm going to do this and I'm going to plan this and I'm going to plan this. And then after that year, boom, I'll be ready to go. But it's like if you do not have a plan. That is going to happen. Like I said, if you don't have that plan and you don't have the goal set and you don't have something in mind to where it's going to get you over to the next situation in order to elevate you and, and, and get you going, then, I mean, what are you doing? You know, it's just like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, you know, and it's like, start, start something small, you know, okay, you know, three months, two months, I'm going to do this, 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 and then I'm going to be able to do this, this, and that, you know, and that's kind of where I'm at right now, like, you know, I'm just, I've been here in Arizona, I think we moved out here um, a couple of months ago, maybe, I can't even think, it was earlier this year, so we've already almost already been out here for like a year coming from, you know, Texas. And it's just like, I swear, sometimes I feel like this place will suck me in and it will. And it's like now I'm now I'm like, OK, I, I've got to go. Like, I've got to do something. I'm all, I've been here for almost a year. I've been working this job, you know, for uh, a year. And, um, you know, in the process, I have done things. 
I've started writing my book, which is a great thing. Um, you know, I have been on some um, podcasts. I just got invited to do another podcast, which is awesome. I have two events coming up, virtual events that I have coming up. I've also been, booked another event um, over uh, out of the country. So, I mean, this has been something for, I've been able to plant the seeds here, right? and be firm on the ground for almost a year, which is helping me to get to the next situation and get to the next goal in mind. Um, so I'm, I'm grateful for that, you know, but at the same time, I, I still have different things that I want to do and, and, um, and I'm working towards that, you know, that's, that's just what it's about. I'm working towards, the other things that I have set, and this is, has been the foundation of that. Do I want to stay in Arizona? I don't know. I have land out here, and I know I'm building on my land. But I also, um, I guess just for me, maybe it's just feel like, okay, it's time for a change. What's next? Like, what's next, God? What are we going to do next? Like, I'm always on the move. Like, I'm always ready to go. I'm always throwing myself head in. And I never, I'm going to be honest with you, I, I never think about what if it doesn't work. I never think about that. Like, I really don't. And I think for me, it's kind of like a, a fearless mode that I have because it's like whether I'm here or whether I'm somewhere else, I'm still going to thrive. I'm still going to do what I need to do. I'm still going to work. I'm still going to provide for my children. I'm going to make sure that my children are fed. It really doesn't matter where I go. Like, whether I'm in this state or in this state, in this country, like for me, it just doesn't matter because it's kind of all like the same routine. You still have to work. You still have to provide for your children. You still have to get up and go to the grocery store. It's just that you're just in a different place doing it. <laughs> so it's like, it's not that big of a deal for me to shift and go somewhere else and do something else because it's like the opportunity somewhere else may be a lot more greater than the opportunities that I have here, but I'll never know that if I'm still stuck here, right? I'll never be able to explore any other opportunities if I'm still stuck here and trying to figure out, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? How are we? I'm not going to do that. That for me seems a lot more stressful. Like, oh my gosh, you know, trying to consistently figure out how I'm going to get out of this situation and try to get over into another one. I'm just going to go to that other situation and we'll figure that situation out when we get over there. Like, get me out of here so I can get over there. <laughs> so, and that is, that's just how my mind works. Like, you know, I don't know about other people, you know, like I've got things that I want to do and I'm not going to, I'm not going to let fear interfere with that. I'm not. I'm just not. Fear is not a real thing. It doesn't exist. It, it only exists because you allow it to exist. If you allow it to create the narrative of your life, then that's exactly what it will be. So prepare yourself for the things you want. Thank God for the things that you have. Ask him to move things forward in your life and get you over to the next situation. But it begins with that thought. You have to plant that thought in your head and you have to allow the universe to bring it to you, right? Because if you think about it and you dwell on it, it will come to you. It's no different if you think about the negative and, and, and be part of negative shit stuff, excuse me. It will come to you. So shift that mindset. Be on a different type of time, live your life, and don't be scared to not live it because you only get one. YOLO, have a good day. Being better every day in every way makes me better and better, and it will you too. Love you. Bye.